Hi folks, so uh, today I recently got a hold of a couple of these Unicam uh, dial locks. It's not the only dial lock that I have, but it's the first one that I have that isn't in the original uh, super old packaging and everything. And if you don't know what a dial lock is, then, um, well, let's take a look at this thing here. This is a Western Electric uh, Model 500. These were introduced in the late 40s, early 50s or so. Um, and the way they work is, you know, you stick your finger in the hole next to the number that you want to dial, and you do that. So, here's uh, dialing 0, 9, etc. And uh, back then, you know, when these phones were uh, sort of the standard, making a phone call was super expensive. So how do you stop people from making uh, these super expensive phone calls on your telephone when either you're not around or you're in an office or something? Well, the answer is a dial lock. And if you notice, it's got this little uh, disc-shaped cam and it uh, lines up with this circular section here, and then there's this little tab. And what you do is you put that circular section in the hole next to uh, usually the number one, and then you turn the key, and there you go. People can't even dial a one, or they can almost dial a one. Anyway, these are the keys for this particular one. And uh, there's the lock affixed to that dial. And uh, let's see if we can get into it. I mean, this thing is just a, an old uh, wafer lock. Now, because this is a wafer lock, uh, the keyway is very wide, but I've found that often um, taking one of each size of Peterson pry bar and putting them side by side will actually get you a pretty decent grip on these. So let's get that seated in there. Come on. Just trying to stop it jiggling quite so much. You know, we're going to do it down here. There we go. And hopefully that won't move around too much. And I'm going to, for no particular reason, I'm going to use this uh, thin Peterson short hook. We're going to reach in there. That's three. Okay, four feels like it's resisting. And four feels like it's set. Five isn't giving us anything. So back to one. Two is putting up a bit of resistance. So I think we're okay there. Three, four, five. Still not giving us anything. Okay, and we've got a a little bit of a false set going, I think, and one, and we are free. So there you go. Very simple mechanism. It's only uh, four or five, five wafers, I think. Here's the key again, and that looks like five cuts to me. Uh, there's a very short one right there. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, but, you know, these locks served an interesting and useful purpose back in their day, but now it's just kind of a, well, a little bit of an oddity. But for those of you who have never seen something like this, and uh, probably never will actually see one in use, uh, there's a, a little explainer. So, until next time, have fun, happy picking, and I hope you all have a great uh, 2017.